So the last era we'll look at here is the 1980s, in which uh, was dominated by the Republican President Ronald Reagan, who very famously was a very charismatic leader and also one who um, seemed to understand well the sensible ways that Americans felt and offered them something inspirational and uh, really was reflective of the return to economic consumer consumerism. Many people believed the, that the economic malaise being felt was due to a almost too socialistic perspective on the economy, and Reagan uh, promised to reverse that. He campaigned in 1980 to restore American confidence and all these liberal or socialist policies that he believed had weakened the United States since the 1960s. Uh, he very famously in his campaign promised to say that it was more it was morning in America again and he was uncompromising in his optimism of faith in America he also preached Reaganomics which was rather flawed economic policy but believed that lower taxes and cuts in social programs would increase incentive for profit and that people would be more uh, innovative and would get the economy rolling. And this, of course, was a complete rejection of this sort of Keynesian perspective on economics, where governments would be involved in spending on social programs and other things. Uh, and on top of that, uh, which was quite the reversal of Reaganomics, which, of course, was low spending, Reagan massively increased American spending on military hardware, particular nuclear weapons. He hated detente. He hated the Soviet empire, thought they were an evil empire, and made no bones about it. And in many ways, he reversed the uh, detente that had been established by earlier presidents and um, uh, fueled increased tensions with the Soviet Union uh, to the point where uh, the 1980s were, the early 80s were a very scary time in the Cold War. shows here the massive landslide that uh, Reagan, uh, defeating Jimmy Carter, uh, carried all but five or four states. Um, of course, this was really symbolic of the shift since the 1960s toward more conservatism. Massive tax, tax cuts, some helpful, some not. Um, a lot of people today blame Reagan for the massive gap between rich and poor in the United States. Um, but others believe that Reagan was one of the best American presidents ever. He restored hope, and many claim that he helped to end the Cold War. He claimed to have uh, ended it by putting direct pressure on Soviet leadership, uh, renewing the Cold War, increasing U.S. military commitments. Essentially, uh, he was tried to spend the Soviets into ground. Um, very famously, a good part of that, or an important part of that, was his strategic defenseness, where he proposed to reject the limitations on nuclear arms and put satellites in space that would shoot down Soviet missiles. Now, Soviets uh, eventually realized that this was far fetched and was science fiction, but the spending on nuclear hardware did force the Soviets, especially as they were losing more and more troops in, in a very costly conflict in Afghanistan, uh, it forced them to come to the table and consider ways that they could put an end to the tensions between the two countries. Of course, this was a significant part of the collapse of the Soviet Empire by the end of the 1980s. Of course, Reagan was also well known for putting pressure on South American countries and supporting dictatorships. Um, again, not very uh, aligned with what the Americans stood for in terms of democracy and freedom. Of course, instrumental uh, in the end of the Cold War, too, was the role played by uh, the Soviet leader, Mikhail Gorbachev, who also represented a sort of new leader in Soviet politics, much different from the Brezhnev and some of the other leaders that had uh, dominated Soviet politics. And so at the end of the 1980s, the key question comes back to what extent did the Americans really enjoy freedom and prosperity at home from 1945 to 1989? And that, of course, is something that you have to consider very carefully as you review these materials and consider the readings and documentaries that we have.